future. And strangely enough, we can now, as I did with Marilyn, uh, simulate or reconstruct the voice of Marilyn and the handwriting. Uh, uh, I will be the point of view of the camera. So I used those three, uh, so I had to develop software for the handwriting and this robot. And I decided to trick the audience like that, as you know, uh, the preach, preacher will do in the, or was doing in the 9th century. And at the end, we build a trick. Um, yeah. And it's also an ongoing sort of investigation into portraiture because with Zidane, you did a portrait uh, with Douglas Gordon. Then uh, at the Serpentine, um, there was again this preoccupation with portrait, and here it's back. Can you maybe talk a little bit about this? Because the Marilyn film is kind of like th this ongoing investigation. It's been there for many, many years. Yeah, I, I, did a, I did a lot of portrait. Even I think CHZ is also a portrait, you know. Um, somehow, the, the, even the, the, the same uh, terminology of portraiture came only when we worked with Douglas on Zidane. Because we went for, before shooting, we went to the Prado to look at portrait. And honestly, I've never been really interested by that before. But I realized that somehow it was a late motive in my practice. And... Uh, and Zidane was uh, the first time I realized that I was, I was really, ex in fact, obsessed by that, you know. I never looked at, uh, I mean, this the sim simple idea to propose to a new audience to look at one face for an hour and a an half was definitely, uh, you know, something to do with portraiture. I never looked at my mother for an hour and a an half. So, um, so portraiture became like... Uh, but it's funny because it was so, I, you know, I had to go outside. I always believed that I was, I was not an artist. <laughs> and strangely enough, I, I had to go all the way around in order to understand that, you know, in fact, I'm an artist who was interested by portraiture. It's kind of pathetic. But it took me 30 years to realize that. And what about the... Uh What about the Invisible Boy? Is another form of portrait, or no? That's yeah, there was, a, there was a Invisible Boy, a portrait of a little Chinese man, illegal Chinese man in New York. Um, and Lee, 968, also was a portrait of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of RFK, of, a, of Kennedy. So, yeah, there's a lot of, of them. Are there going to be more? Are there other portraits? I believe that... Uh, this film, Marilyn, will be the last one in, that I will do in the context of an exhibition, yeah. Um, I believe so, yeah. Now the third element in the exhibition is other drawings. And one of the things, I mean, you've always been drawing. There is an ongoing practice of drawing in your work. And it's something um, your oldest friend, Luc Saussier, who has known you ever since you're 16, has always mentioned that actually drawing has been there ever since, you know, your adolescence. But it's something which in the last years has clearly become much more important, the, the kind of presence of drawings. Can you talk? Because there's a whole room here of drawings. Um, yeah, I really, st I really started the drawings when, uh, when I was at the hospital because I, was, I didn't really know what to do else, but, you know, writing a bit and getting bored with my own writing. So I started to draw, and then, you know, the more you draw, the more you like to draw. <laughs> So I ended up spending hours and hours doing that, and uh, it came really by chance, and it became sort of the, the storyboard of the CLZ uh, film that I was thinking or doing at the time. And, uh, and since then, it became like uh, something that I started to enjoy doing a lot, yeah. But I think that between going even upstairs, I mean, if you want to go to the parkour of the show, maybe, or is that interesting? So, uh, okay, so... As we know, because now we are in this corridor and we listen to the soundtrack of Marilyn, you know, with the rain or water or the river, you know, filtering out of the space. And uh, the way, in fact, so I had like to... Uh, you're too fast. <laughs> We're here for another two hours. So um, I did... Uh, so I, I was Marilyn and, and Siaget. So the two films were there. And then uh, I tried to find a way, basically, to display this... Uh, these two uh, film into an exhibition space, and I always believe that uh, an exhibition is successful when the when the work that you present has uh, you seem that they've always been there, you know. So I tried to find a way to integrate them within the space, and uh, so okay, so we found these these uh, two rooms, you know, down there in the museum, and 
and I started working in, uh, or thinking in terms of automaton, you know, like there would be like a...